We got Annie Agar on Viking Circle today. <laughs> you are like, are you okay with this? Because I, I know you're itching in that that. It's burning a little <laughs> bit, Gabe, just slightly. But I'm here, and I'm you know I'm a big person because of it. I think. I, I love that because what you're from Michigan. Yep. Live in Illinois. Yeah. Now you're in Minnesota, <laughs> so we can't talk anything about Wisconsin, right? <laughs> no, I did drive through Wisconsin though, and I waved to all my friends. I <laughs> Back in enemy territory. I went from a state that hates me to a state that hates me even more, probably. Well, I think they'll love you a little more if they drive. You ready? Uh, absolutely. Let's do it. I have you get in the passenger seat. Ah! This is like, this is like first class. Okay. It is. It's like a six-seater golf cart. It'd be Me. great to hold all the alcohol that I take when I go golf. <laughs> Just to make my golf game a little bit better. <laughs> Speaking of alcohol, I just watched your most recent video. Oh dear. And it said, what alcoholic beverage is your team's quarterback? <laughs> yep. This is obviously Kirk Cousins. To me, there's no other answer. He is a White Claw, not just any White Claw, a lime. White Claw, I have no further discussion. Next. Okay. That is specific to you, gotta say lime. It's like a solid go-to. Okay. It's your, you know, your, your trustworthy drink, okay. but you don't always love the lime ones. But it's always going to be there for you. That so, is true. You know, it's reliable. I, it is very reliable. Reliable. Yeah. Rain, sleet, snow, or summer. Absolutely. It's going to be there. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So now I get fans screaming. <laughs> now I got to ask if you had to describe the Vikings as a soft drink or a pop. Oh my God! I just said oh. pop. Soda. I'm from the south. I see. I do I'm the from same the, thing. Really? Do we not say pop out here? I don't. People. I say pop. When people say pop, I'm just like, what are you talking about? Popcorn? Oh. Popsicle? Lollipop. See, but, but people sometimes will say like Coke or co like cola, as yeah. in all of the pops, but that's not. Oh no. Like how old are you? Pop, we say pop up here. So anyway, pop, yes. So what kind what, what kind of pop, pop or soda? Would you describe the Vikings as? Can I, I gotta say like Fanta because it's purple, oh, right? Oh, oh, okay. And um yes. <laughs> so I I'll leave it at that. Fan people like Fanta Great Fanta. See, the people that like Great Fanta love Great Fanta. And that is <laughs> that is Vikings fans to a T. Because if they love the Vikings, they love the Vikings. And nobody can talk bad about them. No, and nobody but me, maybe. Even if <laughs> <laughs> So what about the Vikings makes you get on them like you do other teams? Yeah, it's the NFC it's the NFC North like yeah. camaraderie because of because it's what I grew up in. Like Kirk Cousins went to Michigan State, right? Which yeah. is my, my dad went to Michigan State too. So I feel like I have a deeper connection there. So I feel like if I make fun of the NFC North teams, they take it less personally because they know I'm already a part of that. Like I was, right. you know, I'm, I saw Kirk Cousins play in college. I have um, been out to every state in the Midwest. So it's just, mm -hmm. a, it's like a connecting thing. And I know how their fans are because I've experienced them. My family are all Lions fans. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry they that. go to group therapy all the time. <laughs> um, but my family are all Lions fans. So I'm a part of this NFC North. Okay. I know the traditions. I, I try to know how the fans act. So I just feel like there's more ground for me to make jokes there. All right. So do you prefer to do sketches on fan bases or players? Probably fan bases. Really? The players get touchy because I don't want to insult them because I okay. respect them so much okay. and I love watching them play. Okay. Like, like I was, you know, talking to like Carson Wentz the other week, and I'm thinking the whole time in my head, I'm like, does he know who I am? Because I have definitely said mean things about him before, <laughs> in jokes, you know, in videos. So stuff like that, I never want to insult the guys. But then it's part of the the skit and the joke too. So. It's a give and take. Fan bases, though, are so much more fun to make fun of. Yeah, and so much with that fan base, the Vikings have a you know a very strong fan oh, base. Oh, school! Wow, I found out. you I just found said out that. The... You just said that. Technically, it just means it, cheers. I'm not actually saying you're. <laughs> I'm just saying cheers, and it happens to be in Nordic language. Who knew? <laughs> I know you probably get this question a lot, but I gotta ask you, how much of actual games do you watch versus like NFL Red Zone? Yeah, I watch a lot of Red Zone, okay. but just because I want to get every, you know, what's happening with every game for the fans. And I'll sit in my um, apartment and watch them from, you know, noon Chicago time until Sunday Night Football because I want to make sure, and people are like, oh, don't you go out to the games? You want to, and I do want to be there, right. but then I miss the rest of the games. Right. Um, and I really want to make sure I know what goes on in the league. So these jokes I make feel like I'm, a part of each fan base. Mm -hmm. So it's so, a lot of watching games. So you actually enjoy watching football. Has that always been a thing since you were a kid? Yeah, well, surprisingly, Lions fans are still enjoying <laughs> watching football. Um, yeah, growing up, my brother was a big football fan okay. and just a brilliant, like, you know, you could ask him who won the Super Bowl back in whatever and he'll tell you who the MVP was, like, just a brilliant guy. And he, we just grew up sitting around the dinner table. My dad would get home from work and he'd be like, what games are on tonight? Like, that was oh, our wow. that was our relationship with my family. So it wasn't really like a, 
you, if you don't like sports, you're kind of out of the family. It just was what we did. It was, yeah. it was my family. Like my dad played for the Tigers, so it just was this nice. sports family, and that's just what we did. <laughs> nice. Well, you got a lot of, I feel like a lot of NFC North connections just going uh, yeah. on here. Yeah, I right. know. Since we are in the state of Minnesota, I want to end this thing with a quick round of Minnesota facts. Okay, oh, I'm you ready. ready. I think I'm ready. First things first. Are there more cities or lakes in Minnesota? Lakes. Do you know how many lakes are in Minnesota? Oh, we we just talked about this. Something like ten thousand or something. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna is is ten. Yeah, like, you're good. I'm, I'm... <laughs> Let's go. All I know is Michigan has more. That's all that really? I don't know. I threw that out there. I was just trying to make our state look Michigan, better. We want Michigan to look good. All right, so we know Minnesota is just, it's uh, it, yeah, it's a great state. It snows a lot here. Since Minnesota has been a state, 1858, I believe. I am probably got that wrong. But since, <laughs> since Minnesota has been a state, yes. what month has it not snowed in? So it snowed in every month snowed except in every this month. month. But one month since Minnesota has been a, declared a state. I'm gonna say July. Let's go. Really? Let's go. Let's go. So it snowed here in August before? <laughs> it snowed what here. Is, why do we live here? <laughs> oh my goodness. I moved here down from North Carolina up here. Yeah. I'm just like, Minnesota. Why did you do that? North Carolina weather is beautiful too. I love it's it. It's like a little hot in the summer, but. But good, yeah, that is true. I'm gonna get you out of here with this question because people wanna hear your take on the Vikings. Yes. Do we actually have a chance to win the NFC North this year? I, I, yes. And as, as tough as that is to hear, I definitely think so. Okay. I think the Bears are, goodness gracious, don't even get me started on the Bears. Wide receiver situation, not not ideal. Packers wide receiver situation, okay. We'll yeah. see. Sammy Watkins needs to be healthy. Um, but a special teams worries me for the Packers still, even though we have Rich Passaccia. Still worried about it. And then the Lions are just... They have hard knocks. We'll give them that. That's good. You know, that's, that's, a, a, win. Win. that's a win for that's the Lions. That is a win. But I do. The Vikings worry me. I'd give them... I'm, I'm still going to go with the Packers because of obvious reasons, but I will say... I'm, I'm concerned about the Vikings. Okay. We're either going to split with you guys again or you're going to be this again. Well, hopefully Vikings fans are listening and say, let's beat the Packers twice and beat everybody in the division twice. And yep. hopefully we'll see you in more Vikings jerseys along the way. I do have Dalvin Cook one too. So oh, let's go. I told, I told Chris that he's like, are you going to burn that later? I was like, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm wearing this loud and proud, you guys, for the next hour. <laughs> Annie, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you. Awesome. This is Annie Agar, Viking Circle.